Randall is not free of vice, William. His vice is his goodness. It's his compulsive drive to be perfect. That's why I love him. now so I'm just gonna make a coffee in here I'm scratching my hand <laughs> with my <laughs> it was that spot where I rubbed the nettles yesterday so I'm just I'm a bit itchy anyway that's a that's a, got some home belt sandpaper up in right now uh, all right coffee I was actually hoping I'd be up earlier and I'd go for this hike and I could come back to the van right where it is and then take off. But I gotta check out at 11. And that's in um, just like a couple hours from now. So I'm, I'm thinking I'll probably move because I don't think I'm gonna stay here another night. I'm gonna keep going down the road a little bit. And uh, I might stop and do something else, but uh, I gotta get back to Nick's van. <laughs> It's been a couple days extra on this trip. Mm. That'll do. I had to drive around a little while to find this actual proper parking spot, but uh, visitor parking. Anyway, let's go on a hike.
15, 20, 21, 22, 23. One seventy. Yo. I lost count. <laughs> That smells so good. That breeze feels really nice too. It's hard to say how, how something like that happened, but it looks like uh, there's a little bit of prop damage, maybe. It might not be prop damage, so I don't want to blame it on boaters or stuff like that. It could be a, like a conflict with another animal or something like that, but it's back tail. Looks like it's been on a little bit through some stuff and maybe he was just having trouble swimming. And then, uh, you know, the, the tide the ocean and everything just kind of brought them right up onto this beach. Might be a girl too, but it's a nice place to, I mean, when you think of it, dying's not an easy thing, but it's a, it's a really nice place for that, you know, that animal to pass on.
Mm. There you go. It's like the perfect thing to finish that hike with. It's a good smoothie. It's pretty thick though. Probably could use a bit more water, but it's gonna be all right. Watching this couple over here, they, the guys that goes over with a brush, she goes over with a power wash, and they go through this whole routine, and then she's drying off the vehicle, and he goes around with the wand again, and the soap and covers everything that she just finished drying off. <laughs> it's just like, oh man. $20.80 rule, that's me in washing a vehicle. I just, you know, put 20% of the effort in, get 80% of the results, and usually that's good enough for most of the time. $20.80 rule. And clean out this fridge. Yeah. Gotta clean, that is disgusting, actually. <laughs> it's been about two weeks since I cleaned out the fridge, and normally it's pretty clean, but... It's been working pretty hard the last little while. Anyway, we'll get it cleaned out. Normally it doesn't have that much liquid in there. That's, that's a lot. There we go. Nice and clean, at least clean enough. stick these in his deep freezer totally taking advantage of that
So um, just catching you up a little bit. We moved the vans around a while ago. Uh, I didn't film it, battery died, and, and it, you didn't need to see it anyway. Um, and I was able to catch up with my brother, my daughter, um, Nicholas, of course, and then my cousin, Steven. And um, for now, I'm just fixing up some dinner. Um, I ended up cutting into those two wieners I had, those cheddar, cheddar things. Anyway, I'm gonna chop those up. I'm also gonna have this beverage here, which is my friend Kristen and Peter in Squamish. Uh, they make this really cool water kefir. It's actually something that I'm gonna try to make in the van. Um, probably do that in a video up in the future or something. I figured that'd be something I'd do once I get on the road from working on Nick's van and play around with that at that point. And this, by the way, I mean, this is kind of more or less what I do at nighttime after I've worked on Nick's van as I go clean up. I did do that today and I got a load of laundry on. Um, which is really nice to just use her shower and clean up. <laughs> and then that was, uh, that's Stefan over there closing the blinds. He's like, yeah, need some privacy. See you buddy. <laughs> they get a full view of my van, uh, if they want to see in here as I'm hanging out in the backyard. Anyway, I'm not working on the van. I'm, I'm like, you know, at the end of the day, I'm usually coming out here and I'm making dinner and, and I don't normally film this stuff because... I'm just going, 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 work, 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 and I'm just getting through it. And I find, um, you know, I'd rather film other videos when I'm out sharing the wild and that kind of thing. But uh, I know some of this is interesting because maybe some of you guys have been wondering how I've been getting on while I've been in at, at Nick's place. I do still live in my van. I just parked in his backyard and I'm kind of like this, this guy that's back here. Anyway, I need to chop this up. All right, so uh, those look pretty good. Kind of cheesy. They got some herbs in them and stuff. This is a little sausage here from uh, Victoria. So oh, it smells really good. This would be really good on the campfire. Had I, had I had a second campfire, had I been over there for another day, this is how I would have cooked them, is just put them on my poker and put them on fire. You know, but it'll probably be a while before I do that, so I'm just going to cook them up like this. At least by now you can probably tell I'm not like a master chef with a chef knife. Like I don't like, ch -ch 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 -ch. but you know, this works. Oh. And now I'm repositioning myself here in my van because I'm getting pins and needles in my feet. Um, <laughs> this is just kneeling there for a while. Yeah. And that's part of the routine of me moving around inside my van because it's so small. And, uh, you know, I don't stand up in it or anything like that, so. And I thought maybe when I was building this out that I would do my cooking up here on the counter. But I find I actually prefer cooking on the floor. And um, occasionally I've cooked up there, but I, that's usually the spot where I put my stove. And I just set it up like that and do what I need to do. And uh, it's easy to reach. This surface I use for my food prep, I find the level of this as I'm sitting, like kneeling on the floor, this is just at a better height than that. That's actually a little bit too tall, but it's great for like putting my stuff on as I'm getting it ready to, you know, prepare and stuff like that down here. And then, you know, the fridge. Add some of this in here, and that'll be, that'll be good. Another little camera rig that I've got, but uh, in this case, I'm just gonna set it up with my phone here and get a show going. Carry on with that uh, This Is Us show. It's really quite good. I'm liking that one. Oh no, you know what? <laughs> it's on that phone. <laughs> 
We're gonna turn this off for a sec so I can watch my show. But might as well try this out right now. Cause this looks really good. Mm. It's okay. It's okay. It definitely tastes like a glorified hot dog with some onions, peppers, and shiitake mushrooms, but mostly I can just taste the glorified hot dog. Hmm. Might be better with this. Alright, let's try it with the uh, great coupon. It's still a hot dog. <laughs> anyway, guys, I feel like maybe we should wrap this up. Um, if you're still watching it's probably a long video i've been chatting a lot in this one so um i'm feeling really good now that i had that reset and you know especially you know that last stretch in porto like like just south of port renfrew really nice and uh i'm feeling ready to get back into this and carry on so it's i, I believe we're kind of on the final stretch here with this guy um there's a, that, you know, that side cabinet to do, a couple little, you know, off cabinets from that, the plumbing, and then the fridge cabinet, and then that's pretty much it. We have to do the door panels and stuff like that, but uh, Nick might even tackle that one himself. It's the final stretch. Anyway, guys, we'll see you later. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and uh, much love to you. And I hope you're doing well. Just, you know, take care of yourself, whatever you're doing. Listen to your heart. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm trying to have a fancy ending to this, but that's it. That's all I got. We'll see you next time, guys. Bye for now. Mmm. <laughs> Ugh. <sighs>